Um, why did you? Yeah. Why did you not take that traditional startup funding path? One is to identify shifting ground while you are on it. Mm. That is basically identify the magnitude and direction of the shifting ground while you are on it. And you can only do that if you have a bird's eye bird's eye view of something, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? And uh, for example, I'll tell you one example, one simple thing, which is there is quick commerce, there is e-commerce. E-commerce, Amazon, eBay, you order something, you get it in two days, any product. Mm -hmm. Quick commerce is, let's say, 10 minute delivery. While when it started, it started just as a grocery delivery platform. But as things progressed, Technology got added onto it by that. I mean, you can order a razor, you can order children's blue books and all these things. So the trend when it started, it's not very apparent that quick commerce will eat into e-commerce, e-commerce's profit margins, mm. not starting as a direct competitor. Similarly, there are these patterns and ideas relevance was five to seven years. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you had a monetizable window of a new technology, for example, five to seven years. Now think about AI and rapidly evolving, let's say, even consumers' behavior as well as technology. Maybe that time has shrunk to two or three years. So an idea's relevance as well as monetizable window, it could have shrunk to one year, two year, three years. It has definitely shrunk. That's what I mean. Mm-hmm. If you take the, let's say, VC funded route, the premise is that people are focused on one idea long term and are passionate and are willing to work work for next seven years, exit or IPO, things like that. But, you know, like I mentioned, shifting trends, ideas relevance might have shrunk, people's patterns of how they operate now they love fractions of everything when those patterns are evolving and can you identify similar things where an entrepreneur doesn't want to dedicate his life for five to seven years and wait for an exit Uh, and can you make that happen for yourself Mm -hmm. that's the fundamental question that i asked so then i started fractional ownership in companies building them part-time not making my life or death survival on it but it i let it rather grow on the side uh just over years like what question did Mm -hmm. i always primarily focused on consulting to get my next month's salary i figured why don't you create this new era of entrepreneurship fractionally operated you know heavily uplifted like an exoskeleton exoskeleton with AI, which does most of the things. No marketing spend, no upfront LTDs, long term, I mean, lifetime deals, nothing. That's that's quite exciting. And, you know, you talked about, I like this fractionally operated concept in addition that is billing and it seems billing an exoskeleton with AI and sort of, you know, completing that whole thing. 